So in this video, we're going to have a look at a complex integral. I've got two cosines, z over 2. I'm going to integrate with regards to z. And my parameters here, I've got 0 and pi plus 2i. Now you notice here, my complex number z is in the form of a plus bi. So where a is pi and b is 2. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to work on the fundamental theorem of calculus. So d dz of f of z, that will give me f of z, lower case. So here, this should be this. So that's my f of z. So what I'm looking at is the integral of f of z dz is capital f of z. So that's what we're going to do here. So now I need to take the derivative of something to get this as my answer. And this input here will be the result of my integral. So now I want the derivative with respect to z of some function to give me 2 cosine z over 2. OK, now take the derivative of something to get cosine. I'm going to have a sine. So that's sine. The input is z over 2. So that's obviously going to stay there. That's fine. And then I need, by the chain rule, something multiplied up by a half to get 2. So then this is going to be a 4. 4 times a half gives me 2. So therefore, my result of my integration is going to be this. So I've got 4 times sine z over 2, all calculated from 0 to pi plus 2i. OK. So now normal rules of calculating an integral. Uh, 4 sine, where I see a z, plug that in. And then subtract when I see z is 0. So I've got 4 times sine. So z over 2. So that's going to give me pi over 2 plus i. So that's what happens when I plug that in. Now I need to subtract the case when z is 0. So minus 4 times sine of 0 over 2. Just leave it as that. Well, we can see straight away sine of 0 is 0. So this is going to turn into 0. Here, 4 times sine of pi over 2 plus i. Well, we know the sine function is the same as the cosine function, but shifted by pi over 2. So therefore, my result for this could be 4 cosine of i minus 0. Well, that's just, my, that's just as it is. So 4 cosine of i. Now here, cosine of i... That would be reasonable to put that as our result of our integral, but we can do better. So we know there's an identity for cosine i z, where z is some complex number. Now the result of that is cosh of z. So whatever my input is here in my cosine, my result is cosh of that input without the imaginary constant. So 4 cosine i would be the same as 4 cosh 1. So it's 4 cosh of 1. So I'm just going to leave that in a bracket. Now that would be also a reasonable result for my integration. So I could put that up there, but we can also do better than that. So 4 cosh of 1. Now I could turn that into some uh, values with constants using exponential form. So I know cosh of some z, that gives me one half e to the z plus e to the minus z, where z is the input of the cosh function. So here I've got four cosh of one. So I could write cosh of one. Let's do that first. Cosh of one, that equals one half. So where I see a z, I just put one. So I've got e plus e to the minus 1. So I put e to the 1 as well. OK, now I've got four of those. So therefore, my result of this integration would be 4 times that. So that could equal 2e plus 2 over e. Now that would also be a satisfactory result. So let's put that up here. So I could have that or 2e plus 1 over e. That would also be a result for my integration. So that I'm going to declare as my answers 
they are both equivalent and that will work for my integral as a result. Okay, thanks for watching.